Good morning. I'm Mike with Advanced RV. We've been 12 years in business now, and it's kind of a time for reflection and reaffirming our vision. Recently, I read a book called Subtract, and it resonated because I think that that's the way we have approached the Class B motorhome innovation process that we've started 12 years ago. And the book starts with the author playing Legos with his son. And they build uh, two towers and they need to span the towers, but they're different heights. So his son takes blocks off the tall tower so that they're even and he puts a spanner in. The father adds blocks to the shorter tower to span. Same result, uh, but a different approach. And the research uh, cited in the book talks about how our inclination is to add things. When we design, when we come up with a problem, uh, we add, we add. And I realized reading the book that that's not what we do at ARV. We tend to subtract. We go back to first principles. We go back to the core objectives that our clients have. And from those core objectives, we create a new design, and usually that design involves subtracting. Uh, you know, a good example is uh, when we started, every RV, Class B and bigger, had a generator, and it had gel batteries, the better ones, or lead-acid batteries. And we started looking at that, and, and we decided, you know, it would be really good if we could subtract propane from the design, so you wouldn't have the hassle of filling propane, the hassle of carrying it. So we started looking at eliminating the generator and we came up with our first lithium batteries and we've been installing lithium batteries larger and larger, lighter and lighter and better placed and safer for the last 12 years. Another simple example of subtraction is that many clients when they bought a Class B motorhome, one of their first trips was to Target or somewhere to buy a bed topper because of the way the beds were designed and configured. So they had to figure out a place to store it. They had to deploy it at night and put it away in the morning. And we just decided, uh, well, let's subtract the need for a bed cover. So we've been building beds in our facility here and offering clients uh, custom upholstery on those beds ever since we started. Other examples are automatic leveling system, which subtracts the need to carry blocks and mess with blocks. Also, I've used the levelers to get unstuck before. And so uh, that eliminates the need to carry a shovel, although the shovels look cool when they're hanging on the outside, and uh, manual jacks uh, to jack up if you're off-road and, and get stuck. So uh, again, subtraction. We subtracted the noise in air conditioners very early on, uh, measured the effectiveness of the air conditioners, different brands that were available, and the sound levels. And we found a, an Australian designed air conditioner that greatly lowered the sound and the noise of the air conditioner when operating. Same thing with the heating system. The heating system that we designed uh, is more effective and quieter. So we took away noise. We also took away handling issues by installing our huge tanks, fresh gray and black, under chassis. We also did the same with our battery systems with a maximum ground clearance. So we subtracted issues hanging down from the van and we also improved safety and handling, thinking about every aspect of lowering our center of gravity in our builds. Our dump and fill, we don't have a three inch hose, we have an inch and a half diameter hose that actually stores in a compartment. It's continuously hooked up, so it takes about four minutes to empty gray and black tanks. So all these things subtract care, subtract thinking, and subtract the hassles that used to be involved with Class B motorhoming. Another thing that comes to mind is our process. Our process not only is through subtraction for uh, hard designed things, but of conversation. 
learning the client's needs has been developed over the last 12 years. Uh, we don't have a menu because there's no limit to what clients can do so that they can visualize a, a different use pattern where things are easier and where they don't have to fuss with the van. Year over year, you just add to the things that you want to add to and you never question the things from past years that maybe aren't appropriate anymore. So part of our process is to, is to do zero-based thinking about how we communicate with clients and how we listen to clients. The other thing we've subtracted, and this was a concept from the beginning, but it was pretty radical at the time to have a custom production like we are, a motorhome company, manufacture and service without dealers. We have nothing against dealers. It's, uh, I've purchased in the past years from dealers but we wanted to subtract the insulation, uh, the communication hassles for our clients of going through dealers and then back to us. When they have a service question or a service problem, they get a technical person any day of the week and uh, any time of the day. So we have subtracted a lot of communication, potential hassles for our clients and potential opportunities for miscommunication. And uh, that's been a lot of fun. The other thing we've done here together at ARV, we started with a trial about, um, well, two years ago. We subtracted a day of work. And we did that uh, by mindfully looking at how we work, how we have meetings, how we do everything we do. And everybody has and continues to uh, subtract things that are not productive from their work days. They've done this without subtracting satisfaction and uh, without adding stress. And so we've almost two years now into our four-day week and, and enabled everybody to have a three-day weekend. Thanks for helping us get to where we are. We really are having fun with uh, this process and we're continuing to subtract and uh, we really appreciate your input and thanks for the 12 years.